Let me call. Let me call David. Call David. Let me call David. I really don't see where I'm going to make the money. Is this a heated negotiation? I'm, I'm feeling it, huh? Are you videos? <laughs> no, I just don't. I don't. You know, she wants. Tell the world about negotiation. We want to tell. We want to. Yeah. <laughs> this will be a good video. I want. I want some her to talk and explain. Tell the world. Yeah. So basically, what's going on is, I met. I met Anna or Ala. 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 Yeah. Ala. Ala. Hi. I'm going to start over. Now. Okay. So Ala and I met in um, actually GP Vegas 2015. She wanted some money. She's a collector. Uh, possibly to sell it. Okay. At the time we didn't do the deal, but then I flew to LA on my birthday weekend, and we kind of talked about selling and selling the cards. She still, you know, was uncomfortable even selling. She's a collector, but she recently this is a good opportunity to discuss like when you change your life situation, you end up what happening is you, you make the decision to sell the cards. She just bought a house, so now so a life event, life life event, which is exactly why when you invest in things. Not that she doesn't have her shit together. It's that you have to negotiate and make deals. And that's why I keep saying that people in their 30s, 40s, and magic collecting and investing, you're not thinking about life events and preparing. Um, so in this situation, she wants she wanted 25. Uh, I want to pay 20. She's got to meet me in the middle at 22.5. And I think 22.5 is fair. Honestly, just meet me in the middle. What we got here is two alpha bonuses that are uh, really exceptional on this card. It's basically mint, but it's a surface six, yeah. which is really difficult. So, it's like a little bit of a raise up here. It's so slight, it's up to but it's flat out mint. On the front? The f yeah, it's really, you can't see it on camera. No. This is, as, you know, warning guys. When you buy a near mint to mint card when it's graded, their idea of near mint to mint is actually, this card is more SP in my condition, or EX, because all the whitening, yeah. That, so that's not to consider near mint to mint. When you're uh, talking about grading, there's a 10 point scale, so near mint to mint is not, in players' eyes, unpack fresh, right? And then we also, what we have here is a bunch of random cards a Scrubland 7, a Trop, no. uh, another Bazaar, and a 9.5 uh, Zombie. No, not. Well, then there's some peripheral maybe cards, cards. Chill and Tell, Alpha, yeah. Yeah, but, but that's a good And this is what I call in business, is basically what you're talking about um, additional fluff. It doesn't significantly affect the value of the collection, but you add it in as a complete whole. This is also part of it. Remote. And lastly, we have an Arabian Nights, I would call it uh, SPMP set, Arabian Nights complete set, all cards. And then some like random um, Odyssey and random uh, bulk, uh, bulk, bulk rares. She flew all the way from Las Vegas, or uh, from LA. Los Angeles. Oh, Los Angeles. 45 minutes, tedious 45 minutes. 45, 45. oh my God, I'm jealous, 45 minutes. <laughs> so all we're trying to do here is, I mean, there's enough value for me to uh, do the deal at 20. She offered 22.5, original 25, 25, and she's calling her husband to try to figure out if we can seal the deal. You know? So you're in your husband's side to pretty much free up this cash okay. for the, due to the house and the changing of events. Yeah, I mean, we just want to have the cash. I have also a 9.5 at home. Alpha Lotus. Alpha Lotus as well, 9.5 grade Alpha Lotus. Do you want to sell them or do you feel like you have to sell them right now? No, I don't. I don't. I, mean, okay I don't feel like now, right? I'm okay with letting them go. You know what I mean? Before I just, you were not. Right. I first, Daniel actually in 2015 offered me 34, and I said no. I told you the market. Was I bad. swear, and he was like, I said, he said 34. He's like, did I tell fly, you everybody? Fly I told and go you get the market cards. was different. In and he's like, we'll do it. He's like, just just fly leave and these get the cards. Damn and he's like, just fly go get me the rest of the cards. At my table, GP Vegas. Yeah. 2015. He's like, I'll give you the cash right 34 now. 34 cash. I'll take the alpha. So you know, I said, dude, I'll give you my ID, whatever. He's he's totally cool about it. Give me your ID. <laughs> Just in case, so I don't come back and bring him back for the rest of the cards. <laughs> but anyway, she disappears. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, this interesting. Is wow, I didn't know that part of the story. That's yeah. No, I. Dan wow. and I go back a little. Bit. Well, we, we're, I mean, we've done. You know, yeah. I mean, we've talked. Okay. She's a very nice lady. Another interesting thing is Star City. She went to Star City Games to try to sell this stuff. Star City didn't even make her an offer at all because she said, "I'm gonna have to crack all this out and sell them as ungraded cards." So it was one of those things where they were awkward. They didn't want to crack. Wait, wait, them out. why? Why wouldn't? Why do they have to break them all out? Because they would sell them as ungraded cards, which worth probably what I will do anyway. But they were not willing to make a blanket offer because most bigger yeah. dealers will not deal with these type of cards so because they have to crack them out, inspect the full condition. Because great in grading, you have to I make sure you get the exact condition correctly. You know, for them. The and they also, when you crack them out, by the way, it's a warning. 
when you crack it out, they have more leverage, which I would never crack it out. You always keep it graded if you can. This way, you, you know they're authentic and they're already graded. Now, are you, why would you not leave these sealed to try to sell them? Why crack these? So, in the world of, in the world of grading Magic the Gathering, the highest premiums are generally 9.5, BGS, BGS 10, the Burner Lotus, and the AP. So, oh, come here. We'll, we'll, we'll let her talk. Come here. I want her to chime in. I know she's well, talking. Well, she's on the phone. With no, 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 no. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I'm talking to my husband. My husband and I are having our own negotiations over the phone. Okay. Yes. So, real quick. So in the world of grading, BGS 9.5 is all that stuff. You ask a good question. We talk about like highest grade. This is the BGS 10 Beta Lotus. Uh, and it is one I just graded, uh, BGS 10. And what you're talking about here is this little There's a glare. Yeah. There Basically what you have here is a, a very, you know, there's no play where it's a, it, it's a near perfect specimen that edges as a 9.5. 9.5 edges is very microscopic. They're using a 10 times loop, and there's, you know, it's a, it's a very micro flaw. Whereas in their situation, collectors are willing to obviously, like comic books, come out with really high quality, uh, or, or are willing to open the pocketbooks up for rare, rare collectibles. There's only three of these in the world. Where in the case of the seven and eights, there's probably a few hundred in the world. Right. Obviously, we talk about like X Men collectibles, uh, Batman uh, collectible, or Superman collectible. Uh, Superman comic books sold over three million dollars recently in auction. Right, right. That's the highest grade. You want people that have expendable income at the at the ultra high figure level, they're going to want to spend it, justify it for the rarest of the rarest. You know, if you're very rich, you want the oh. best, right? Right, right. So, yeah. When you talk about seven and eight, there's two hundred of them. You're not being All right, so no, I know. Okay, sweet. All right. yeah, we just have you know a different a variety of Power Nine and such, and um, you know Black Lotus comes in. This is a two Alpha ones, uh, the, you know. So these are really. And this is another example. Like uh, another thing I've, I want to show you guys is that in gr grading, there's also what you call sign cards. Christopher Rush passed away, um, and it's very it's very rare now, obviously, to find a signed mint. Uh, Lotus, black Alpha Black Lotus, with a ten autograph. Well, that's another grade part of it. Are right, subgrades on the back? Yeah. Yes. So that's how you do it. So in PSA, the subgrades um, are on a letter. They give you a letter, a very uh, a PSA DNA letter. I'm an example here, but it's very interesting because sign cards. While a lot of you guys will say, "Hey, it's inked," it's not inked to a lot of collectors. Very important about grading. When they when you see the surface is nine for grading. Uh, to some people, they're like, no, it's inked because it's autographed. So important to understand is when they grade a card that's autographed, it's isolating the signature. They're ignoring that signature as if it was not there. Now, if there's scratches and imitations or something on top of the card, that will hit the surface. But in this particular case, it is not affecting the grade of the card. That's how they do autograph grading. All right, so There let's you see. go. Fascinating. So she is... Talking to her husband. This is almost like a uh, like a road show, like an antique road show. Yeah. No, this is Pawn Stars. We're gonna call him the expert. Okay. All right. Okay. Bye. Right. Bye. She said, "Love you." Bye. Let Final me decision. Close it out. Twenty-one five. I can't do it. I can't do it. I really want to do it. He said he's like, I can't go lower than twenty. I can't do it. I can't do it. Okay. I cannot do it. I really want to do it, but no, I can't. No, it's do it. fine. I'll piece off the collection on eBay, and if you want to take it, I'll do twenty thousand five hundred final. I can, I swear to God, you want to talk to David yourself? I can't do it. I can't. Twenty twenty okay. one five. Okay, tell him. Tell him. I'll meet him in the middle. Twenty thousand seven fifty. That's it. <laughs> you want to talk to David? No, sure. I'll talk to David. Put on my speaker. I just have I just have a Timothy year old, and I'm buying more magic cards. And as you can see, I have lots of magic cards. And here I'm buying more magic cards. Well, some of you guys will wonder why am I buying more magic cards? Twitter. Twitter. Well, because I'm crazy. Twenty-seven. I'm kind of like Rudy. Fucking crazy. And, and I'll buy you dinner. No, no, no. I'm leaving. When? I have my my brother-in-law and sister-in-law. Okay. They're going to EDC, so I can't. I'm hanging out. So you're gonna go party? Is no, I'm gonna... not. I don't. She's gonna go. Okay. Okay. So what? <laughs> Uh, we are highly trained professionals who spend thousands just to have there a booth. Hey, what, remember that? Remember that? I'm in camp. Watch this. You realize. 21,000. That's it. 
Holy shit. $21,000. Dude, dude, dude. You're, I'm Jewish. Of course. You're, you're going to do the deal. You know he's going to do it. He should have done it for twenty five. He's just being. He's being Dan. I want to hear. I want to, on camera. I want to so hear this. This is the. They're super zocks, right? There's two. Watch. He's gonna sell this. He's gonna tell me I made ten thousand dollars off you. I'll be like, I know. I know. What is so Star City? What was their exact words for the camera? Tell them what happened. So when you went to Star City Games, yeah, they said they wanted. What did they tell you about? Well, they this? said before we even make a price to you, before we even give you a price on your high end cards. We have to go ahead and crack them open. Yeah, I said it makes no sense. I'll let you crack them open if you made the purchase. Absolutely. You guys can crack them. Why would you want to crack before even an offer? I don't. That's I'll the dumbest you, thing honestly, ever. Honestly, I said we can crack this one because I already know what's wrong with this one. I actually flew out to BGS in Texas. And there's a slight groove on it. That's the only uh, Where is that? I couldn't find the groove in the The kit. groove is right here. It's literally in this corner. Well, they actually opened this for me. So that's how I know what was wrong with it. Oh, the okay. So they other let you see that, it? Okay. Yeah, other than that, I couldn't. Yeah, there's nothing really wrong with it. You know what I mean? So what's the story? When did you buy these and why did you get them? I actually collect them. This was actually a childhood thing. So I bought this. I bought many cards throughout my whole childhood up until even, I want to say maybe four years ago. Really? I stopped. Yeah, I bought a 9.5. Actually, I bought a raw card. I bought a raw alpha black lotus. I took a gamble on it. I gave the guy 10,000 cash. I flew out. And they graded a 9.5, so I thought for 10,000 it was <laughs> it was worth it. For me, it was worth it. You know, whatever investing a thousand into plane and the hotel, another thousand. It's, it's very unique to have. Um, it's very unique to have a woman. This is gonna be a, this is gonna woman, be a great a, video. A woman collector. I mean, where's this video? Talk about as a collector. Well, he's a, he's a he's actually a YouTuber. Oh. But but talk to me about as a woman collector how that works. I mean, you obviously know that. Yeah. To be honest with you, so. A lot of men think like, because it's a woman and it's a, it's a male dominant game, they think, oh, well, we can lowball the girls, we can do this, we can do that. I had one guy offer me, back in 2015, when I met Daniel, he offered me like 12,000 for two cards. 12,000, I was just like, no. Yeah, I mean, people do lowball you, and I don't play anymore, I used to play vintage, so that was fun, but... Yeah, so, think, so how about old school, you play old school? I play only old school, but I haven't played in, I want to say maybe like four years, three years. Ever since I stopped my collection. Are you going to miss the cards? No, I'm not because I still have three more at home. <laughs> three of my personal like favorite ones. That's really cool. So, um, and what bulk rares do you have? You said? They're yeah. all here. All right. Well, and, I appreciate also, Thank you for sharing the story. Absolutely. Looks like they're going to be doing the deal then. Uh, what is the deal? 21100 Twenty one. Twenty one. Is what you want? Twenty one five is what she said. My offer was twenty thousand seven fifty. <laughs> Tell no twenty twenty thousand seven fifty. Tell me. Tell who? I'll do that deal. I thought we did twenty one. Well, no twenty thousand. I can't twenty one thousand. That's what you said. No, I swear to God, I said twenty one thousand. We can we can go ahead and. That's the best you can do. Twenty one thousand. I'm dead. We have to get decide right now. Or can I cut it? Huh? Can you cut it or not? Well, aren't you gonna oh. edit? All right, so what did, are we making the deal for? What, so what's happening? My husband said twenty-one thousand. He'll let all the cards go. Everything you can even. Well, this is bulk rares, right? There's nothing special. You can count it. I don't know. They offered me four hundred dollars. Yeah. Oh, well, hold on a second. So two hundred fifty dollars of cards? No, no. They offered me three hundred and ninety dollars for all. Oh, wait a second. I mean, it's wait a second. Okay, I thought you had shit cards. I, Daniel, I asked you to look. All right, um, we have a deal. Twenty-one thousand. Is it a deal? What kind of cash? No, I'm not taking cash. I gotta fly. No, don't. No, pay. PayPal. No. PayPal. No. Okay. Okay. We'll just pretend we have cash. We'll no, no, you can't say that on the bill. <laughs> I'm just God. kidding. You just delete she it. No, it's it's cash. Just, delete it. Fine, we'll do cash. We'll, we'll do, do cash. Do cash. All right, fine. Let's just take the cash. Whatever. All right. Hold on. Let's just do this little deal, whatever. All right, ready? Here you go. Like a little record. Okay, ready. So it's 21 even is what you decided on? 21 even. Should I recount it? Oh, whoa. 20,005 now. 
<laughs> Thanks, Han. Shake on it. Have a great flight. Thanks for doing business. And look, guys, if you think I've, if, I, I want you to put in the comments below for his video. Do I think I was stupid to do the deal or it was a good deal? That's a good question, right, Rudy? It was a great deal. That it was, was a great deal. That's a, that was really cool. Online. I hope you guys, wow. Send me your